In this tutorial, we'll be discussing genetics and specifically the probability of color blindness. The question reads, assume that the probability of a sex-linked gene for color blindness is 0.09, and the probability of the normal allele being 0.91. Now, a sex-linked gene is a gene that exists on the sex-determining chromosomes. So this is not an autosomal trait. In a human, this gene would exist on the 23rd chromosome. This means that the probability of X chromosomes carrying the color blindness allele is 0.09, and the probability of X chromosomes carrying the normal allele is 0.91. In question A, what is the probability of having a colorblind male in the population? Now males and females differ based on their sex chromosomes. Males have an X chromosome and a Y chromosome, so only a single X whereas a female has two X chromosomes. In relation to this problem, this means that a female will inherit two copies of a gene that exist on X chromosomes, while a male inherits only one. And this is dangerous for a male because if you're a female, if you inherit one normal gene and one defected gene, the normal gene will mask what the defected gene will do. Whereas in a male, if you inherit the defected gene, there's no other chance of being normal, since that's your only copy. So to answer question A, what is the probability of having a colorblind male in the population? What we will use is the Hardy-Weinberg principle, specifically his formula, shown right here. Now if a male is colorblind, that means that they inherited the colorblindness gene on their X chromosome. Let's use the letter R to represent the normal gene and little r to represent the defected gene. So on this person's X chromosome, this male, they would have the little r. And we're told in the question that the allele frequency for little r is 0.09. So the answer here, the probability is 0.09. In question B, what is the probability of color blindness in a female? Again, when you're female, you have a better chance of masking that problem. So the only way to actually inherit it is to be homozygous recessive. So you have both little r's coming from both parents. What we will do is take the value of 0.09 and substitute it right into Q. So I get 0.09 raised to the power of 2 and this will give us the frequency of homozygous recessive females in this population, the probability. So 0.09 to the power of 2 makes 0.0081 and that's not a percentage although you can make it a percentage by multiplying by 100 percent and it's a 0.81 percent chance that a female in this population will be born with color blindness and there you have it now you know how to calculate the probability of color blindness in a population